You found one? Did I? It looks like this one is deducting for medical payments covered by insurance. This, we suspect, is how a great many people think of ADP, Automatic Data Processing, the newest tax tool of the Internal Revenue Service, and a new dimension in tax administration. But this is the real heart of the Martinsburg monster, its unofficial name. Nearly everyone in the United States has some concern with this mechanical marvel and its electronic relatives. Some in these same remote quarters in the mountains of West Virginia. Many in seven other widely scattered areas of the country, the regional service centers. These machines are things of gleaming, very colored metal and numerous flashing lights. Lights which do not, however, spell out the names of stage and screen attractions and their performers. They spell out, in a sense, the federal tax status of millions of taxpayers, business or individual. While much goes before and much comes after, most of these complex machines are placed in operation by the simple push of a finger. These are the computers, the processing machines, the electronic devices that record the essential facts of all federal tax returns. They accept facts and figures that add up. They reject entries that fail to agree. No matter what the finding, processing is speeded, correction usually hastened. The Internal Revenue Service, parent of this new system of handling federal tax returns, does not merely say in explaining why this all came about, this is the machine age. The answer goes deeper than that. Yes, taxpayers, tax returns increase with each year. So do the circumstances that make each individual return different from another. There is a limit to what most highly qualified personnel can process by hand, but men and women Controlling and directing machines can keep IRS current, can give the American taxpayer the service and information to which he is entitled, and smooth the path of government. Electronic computers have made it possible for IRS to process millions more returns than would have been possible by hand, more quickly, more economically, more efficiently, a savings for every taxpayer. The ADP system is not completely free from error, human or machine, but its record of accuracy, fast, fast accuracy, is impressive. One reason is the intensive training given prospective employees in the various processing activities. Incidentally, many employees are physically handicapped, but find a useful working niche. Training is careful and thorough, because during pressure periods, Thousands of workers spend long hours in their processing specialties. Executives hold frequent conferences to analyze and evaluate information garnered by the machines. The whole processing program resulting in a round-the-clock operation seven days a week at the National Computer Center. The average taxpayer is hardly concerned with all the intricacies of the far-flung IRS computer system, but the highlights of ADP operation, as his and several million other returns, individual and business, run their machine processing course, may do two highly worthwhile things. Show him what becomes of the facts and figures he so painstakingly entered, and how he may be able to prepare his future returns more easily and more accurately. A return may originate in any one of 58 districts, these districts are grouped in seven regions. There are seven regional service centers now processing virtually all returns from their district areas. To realize the full benefits of centralized processing and to save expenses of trans-shipping returns from district offices to service centers, legislation was enacted in 1966, which now has taxpayers filing their individual and business returns directly with the service center rather than the district office. At any given service center, 
a return will go through various stages. Taxpayers send in their 1040s and 1040As. After sorting, returns go through a carefully planned cycle of processing operations, like this. With everything in order, data tapes are sent to the National Computer Center, where records on each of some 85 million taxpayers are kept and occupying a growing storage area. Somewhere in this neat and systematic collection of containers is a tiny segment of tape about you and your taxes. These tiny bits presently account for some 400 miles of tape, say the distance from Washington to Boston. Various examiners check the essential preliminaries, legible name and address, social security numbers properly entered, all necessary W-2 withholding forms attached, signatures and dates entered where called for, and so on. The machines, of course, check the math. When information from each return is later transferred to the punch cards, all significant tax facts are included. Gross income, tax withheld, refund claimed, and other data. Many returns require more than one card. If the information set forth on the punch card doesn't check out, the machine stops. Notations are made and the card goes back for further study with the return from which it originated and for whatever corrective action is needed. There's a good tape containing data accepted as processed and there's the error tape with information that doesn't check out. An error register later prints out a listing of returns which need attention, giving details of the problems involved. Shortly, the error resolution branch takes over to try to find the causes of the discrepancies. Often they can. When it becomes necessary to write to the taxpayer to obtain needed information, the service center's taxpayer service division sends letters like this. The Taxpayer Service Division performs a variety of other services, such as maintenance of return files, research of returns and accounts information, and providing responses to all types of taxpayer inquiries. These and other functions performed by this division provides a means of effectively dealing with the various problems encountered in processing returns and servicing accounts. Various tapes with differing functions are produced. They result from some 300 different programs of instruction which tell the computer what to do in processing tax information fed into it. Among the things brought about by tapes in the later stages are notice to taxpayer showing balance due on an account, notice of error or a change of tax, and so on. A special microfilm is a Martinsburg output item. A settlement register examined by trained personnel to see if a taxpayer has properly established his refund claim. There are certain things the taxpayer must do to ensure having entries from his return wind up on a good tape. It isn't difficult to accomplish them. Enter social security numbers where called for, husband and wife if both have income and are filing jointly. Attach W-2 withholding tax forms for all jobs held, again, husband and wife if filing jointly and both worked. Explain dependents other than your children. Use correct tax table or tax rate schedule. Be careful to put entries, refund claims, tax owed, and so on, on proper lines. Provide explanatory schedules if needed. Check your math. Sign both parties if joint and date. Assuming you have done, or will do, all the things IRS and ADP ask, what benefits do you, the taxpayer, receive from the system? Generally, these are highlights. Computer discovery and refund or credit on costly errors you may have made against yourself in your return, helping assure that all taxpayers are sharing the revenue burden equally. The taxpayer pays no more, no less than what he owes on his return because of computer verification. Thus, IRS can continue to collect the annual billions of federal revenue at a cost of less than one half cent on each tax dollar. To us at IRS, it seems a worthy goal.